Actor Philip Seymour Hoffman might have died from a drug overdose, but Ben Shapiro, who's the editor-at-large at Breitbart, says that it's actually our broken leftist culture that mm. led to his death. Yeah. Uh, on the National Review, he wrote a piece where he talked about how liberals lead to this culture of immorality, and as a result, people do things that they shouldn't do. For example, he says libertarianism becomes libertinism without a cultural force pushing back against the penchant for sin. That's the real issue here, the penchant for sin. He continues, no one knows what sort of demons plague Seymour Hoffman. Without a sound moral structure around those in Hollywood who have every financial and talent advantage, the path to destruction is far too easy. <laughs> the dirty stuff Ben Shapiro must be doing at all. Okay. Oh, you have to have moral strictures, otherwise you will sin, sin, sin. I want you to I wonder what's going through your head, Ben. Right? Look, uh, this has nothing to do with Hollywood sins or whatever. Look, it's just this guy. Apparently, obviously, when he was younger, Philip Seymour Hoffman was addicted. He relapsed at this point. They say that he was clean for 23 years. I, you know, who knows wh how yeah. much of that is true? And. If you have an addiction, it does. <laughs> you can go thumping with the Bible or the Talmud all that you want. Okay, that doesn't really help the situation. You have to actually get him clinical help so that he can beat that addiction. Your idiotic moralizing doesn't help the situation at all. Like we're in the media, we're not doing heroin because we're like, oh my, and we're we're even worse. We're agnostics. <gasps> we're not like, hey Anna, you know what? Yeah. I, I just realized <laughs> no, there's no moral constraints. Let's go crazy. Yeah. Let's do heroin. Yeah. So two points about this. First of all, I think it's disgusting that he's using this actor's death to make a false connection between liberals and 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 overdoses, right? Like politicizing this is so unbelievably ridiculous, right? Uh, but other than that. I, I hate people who make the argument that you need religion to be moral, that religion is necessary for morality, right? Like, I, I'm not religious, and I think I'm perfectly moral. And I treat people with respect, I treat my body with respect, and that's all that matters, right? I, as long as you're not going out of your way of hurting others, it's fine. It's just so stupid that people make that argument. There's, you, no, there's nothing that scares me more than people who think, well, if it wasn't for God, I would do terrible things. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, we don't have God, we don't do terrible things. You know why? Because we don't want to hurt other people. Exactly. And we don't want to hurt ourselves, right? Uh, but apparently, the p so called religious people who claim to be so moral, they think, well, if I didn't have God to spank me in the afterlife, well, then I would do all the fucked up shit that's in my head, right? So, Ben, what's in your head? Never mind, I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs>